Yes. Welcome to the show, Eric Stanley Donald. Stan, how are you? I'm doing fine, Eric. How are you? Thank Thanks you for so having much. me Thank back. Thank you so much for coming down. Well, last time you were here, you're, you're the Texas chef. I am the Texas and chef. And you showed us a sauce so you can make it home, a really easy one. But we, mm -hmm. we didn't really show you the steps, but today we're going to do that. Okay. So this recipe, what is this recipe you're going to show us well, today? Well, you know, summertime's almost over, and it's, it's about to get busy again. Kids are going to school, a lot of things happening, people don't have a lot of time. So what I wanted to do today is show the folks at home how you can make a really good dish with some canned ingredients with very minimal effort, and it's really, really good. So these are all canned? Everything here is canned. The pinto beans, the diced tomatoes, the corn. The only thing that's fresh is the, is the onions and the peppers and the jalapenos. So everything comes out of a can. But just because it comes out of a can, it doesn't mean it's not good, mm -hmm. because it, it is. So what this is called is uh, pinto bean relish, Texas pinto bean relish. It's called pinto bean salsa. Some people call it Texas caviar. But it's real easy to make. And what you do is you start with a can of pinto beans. Okay. You drain it really, really well. Put that in there. Next thing you want is you want a can of diced tomatoes with all the juice and everything. Don't drain this. You want all this good stuff in there. And the juice is what, I think that is what makes it the salsa. Isn't yeah, it? that's what makes it there the you. salsa. Okay. I know some things. I eat a lot of restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing we have is we have some whole kernel corn. And that's drained too, right? That's drained very okay. well too. Yep. Now we're going to get into the fresh ingredients. This is uh, jalapeno pepper and on the recipe it calls for one to two jalapenos, but this one was so big mm -hmm. that I got that this is just one. And all you do is uh, take the stem off of it and cut it in half and take the seeds and the membrane out of it. And then dice it? And then dice, dice it up okay. real small. This is red bell pepper. And that goes in it's there. It's also diced. Also diced very well. And then red onion. Dice very small. This is about a quarter of a cup, maybe just a little bit more. It's a meaty, not meaty, but a meaty salsa. You know what I mean? It's oh yeah, yeah. Very yeah. Well, it's, it's really more of a relish, but okay. I mean, people call it salsa. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, then we're going to add just a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of cumin, a little bit of chili powder. A little salt and pepper, maybe just a little bit more. And then some nice, fresh chopped cilantro is the final thing. And then all you gotta do is just get in there and mix that up really good. And this is a, this is a wonderful dish. Uh, you can roll this up in tortillas. You can eat it with chips like a salsa. You can uh, use it as a topping mm -hmm. on different dishes like you can put this actually goes really good on top of a good steak you just take a great big old spoonful of it and put it on top of the steak huh that's cool i mean it's real simple we do this in less than three minutes here oh yeah yeah this is this you were is, telling people you were talking while you were doing it. I mean, yeah, yeah yeah that's and, a fast thing to make it really is and like i say just because it comes out of a can mm -hmm. You just don't open the can and put it together. You add seasonings to it. You add different ingredients to it. You, you just use that you, as your base ingredients. You flavor it, and yeah. Then you, then you add to it. You flavor it up, and, and that's all there is to it. I brought some chips over here. Go ahead and grab me. <laughs> he gets me. <laughs> what, what can we say? <laughs> get a big old gloop there. I want some tomato too. Yeah. yeah, it gets you. Sorry for my staff who's going to eat this too. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Yeah. Good stuff, huh? Yeah, good. It's awesome. Yeah, really good. It is, and and I, you know, I'm the Texas chef, so I'm always going to put the Texas twist on it with the pinto beans. Uh, you can also make this with black beans and make a black bean salsa. That is excellent, Stan. Thank you so much for coming by today. Thank you. Right there, I really Texas appreciate chef. it. For more information, go to his website, thetexaschef.com. He's also on Facebook. He has a cookbook. Buy the cookbook. Has, I mean, it's a big cookbook. Get recipes. Awesome. It's a big cookbook. It's a big cookbook. All right, big we'll cookbook. be right back. Don't go away. Thank you very much. Do you want to be on Concho Valley Live? Check us out at facebook.com forward slash CV live.